All right. Well, this is the story of uh, uh, the the most colossal drunk I ever went on. And uh, this was in 1991, November, probably middle of November 1991. Kremlin had come over to Paris, and he was. Uh, he, he had intended to come over for a weekend to promote the British edition of, it was an omnibus edition that Picador put out of the first three uh, private eye novels, uh, The Wrong Case, uh, The Last Good Kiss, and Dancing Bear. And they put out a nice omnibus three, three book edition. And so he came over, and meanwhile, Gallimard was trying to woo Crumley away from his current publisher in France, and so they arranged for him to have a suite in a hotel. So Crumley's like, yeah, I'll stay over. So, so every night we would go out drinking and, you know, meeting women, and Crumley was, this is before he was married to, uh, to Martha. And at the time, you know, we were just, you know, meeting women right and left, and I was single, and I was like, I didn't, I didn't meet any women. I was like this single douchebag, and, you know, so I was like, hey, Crumley's meeting women. I'll go out with Crumley. So we went out, and we were drinking quite a bit every night. And this is, you have to picture, I, I, I weighed well above 250 pounds at the time. I stopped weighing myself at 250, uh, and I drank a lot. I mean, I was a really, really heavy drinker at the time. And um, so, you know, to put away half a case of beer was like a normal day. And, you know, with somebody like Crumley in town, it's probably about twice that much. So the last day Crumley's actually in town, he's leaving town the next morning, and he, we go to meet some people. And so around 5 o'clock, we start drinking. And we go meet these people, we drink some more, we have some cold cuts, because this, this, we went to this place called Shea Ahmad, and somebody told Ahmad that, you know, the guy with those assholes over there is a famous American writer, so he brought over a big plate of cold cuts, which is the only time I've ever seen food served at Ahmad's. Um, no, no, no. And, you know, that's the only food we had all evening. Hey, John. So we go back down to Pigal, we have some drinks there, we're wandering around, and pretty soon it's around 11 o'clock at night, and 11.30 maybe, and Crumley says, you know what's my last night in Paris, I want a nice dinner. And I said, well, you know, right now the nice restaurants are kind of closed. What we've got right now are the, the, the big cafes on the, on the boulevards. And, you know, we can get something to eat 24 hours a day, but it's going to be steak and french fries and that kind of stuff. And he said, no, I want a nice French meal. I want a real nice French meal. And uh, I said, well, okay, we can look around for one. You know, it might be some places open. And the problem with that was we probably could have found a place, except that every single place we went, the kitchen had just closed, but they were still serving drinks. And they say, well, do you want a drink? And the answer to that question when you're with Crumley is always yes. So we would stay, you know, 20 minutes, have a drink, and, and move on. And we were wandering around the left bank trying to get, you know, a nice, fancy restaurant meal. And finally, around 3 in the morning, and I'm just legless. I mean, at this point, I've been drinking for 10 hours straight. And I'm feeling pretty bad. And I'm, you know, I weigh 250 plus pounds. I just, my liver is just saturated with, with, with alcohol killing enzymes. And I'm still fucked up to the gills. And Kremlin is just like moving around like nothing's, nothing's going. You know, he's just, he's, everything's fine, you know. And so we, uh, we end up at this brew pub right around the corner from the Village Voice bookshop, which is where Kremlin had read a couple of nights before. And we walk in, and they're still open. It's 3 in the morning. They're still open. And the kitchen's closed, but they're still serving alcohol. So, of course, we have to try every goddamn type of beer that they brew. And on about the third or fourth one, I'm just sitting there thinking, I'm not even sure I'm going to live through the night. 
I was on it. And Crumley, he's got his foot up on the on the on the rail, you know, and he's just looking very jaunty and suave. And he's just been telling me about fucking Margot Kidder. So yeah, I fucked Margot Kidder. You know. And uh, and I'm sort of thinking, well, maybe I should just go crawl away into the gutter and and just let myself die quietly. And Crumley says. You know what I'm thinking? Fuck supper. Let's get drunk. No, we came back up. That's my crumbly. That's my. That's my. Uh, that's my getting drunk with crumbly story. <laughs>